Damn, bro, your boy Bandai super generous. These niggas giving us 70 dragon stones. Woo, that's super nice, bro. And your boy actually managed to pull another dupe of Super Vegito, which makes three now, which is pretty fucking lit, yo. It's pretty nice. That nigga's fucking ridiculous, but uh, I figured I'd check out the Paragon of Hope, my boy Gotenks. Figured I'd use Mono in. I never really use it. Um, recently got a fucking dupe of um, your boy Buhan, so I actually have crit on him, which is kind of sort of diff decent. Considering that Buhan doesn't have crit or even extra attack, he only has fucking dodge unless you get a dupe. Ooh, this nigga's got crit to level 9. Woo -hoo -hoo. I wonder what my crit is at. Hold up, let me check real quick. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I said hold up, nigga. Oh, my crit's at level 9 too. Okay, cool. Uh, boom. There we go. So, I think this makes Mono Ant a lot better because Mono Ant is very, like, you can survive a long time. Like, you never fucking die. But, um, the problem is it's very slow. Like, nigga, usually I'm almost falling asleep. The only reason Mono Ant for this event is good is because Pickle actually does damage. And, Jesus, that guy really didn't need the key. Uh, and because of the fact that it's a fun event. That's about it. I mean, honestly, ever since I got Super Vegeta, I've been liking this game a lot, lot more. Like, like I've always liked it. I've always played it. But that, that nigga really brought, gave me, like, a, a second win type of deal going on. Fucking breathed in some new energy, boy. Made me feel real fucking good, bro. I was actually playing this uh, a little bit at a friend's house. We were watching Samurai Jack, the new series. It's pretty fucking good, bro. It's pretty fucking lit. If you want to check it out, uh, we were watching on yesmovies.com. It's pretty fucking lit, bro. Them niggas, like, I don't know what the fuck system they have in place, but oof, it's, it's better than Torrance, my boy. It's better than Torrance. Um, but we were watching that. I was playing... Uh, the uh, Golden Freeze event a little bit with Mono AGL, which is surprisingly fucking easy. Uh, and I was just chilling, but fucking Samurai Jack got real good. I was like, fuck this, bro. I can't even multitask. Because usually, you know, I'll just, like, play my game. Well, I don't really play my game outside. It's just the fact that I had full stamina because I've been out all day. And that fucking puts me in the realm. I'm like, fuck. All this stamina being wasted. I need to use it. So I was just, like, pretty much just trying to do an event and then do it again and, like, put it away. Um... Although, at Loki, I'd like to be one of those autists that play games in public and that's the only thing you do. But uh, I was just playing that on the side, talking, watching fucking Samurai Jack. And uh, uh, fucking, it put me in the realm, bro. It put me in a good jutsu because uh, Samurai Jack, it's always been pretty good. But now it's coming back in kind of like a more uh, adult setting in the sense that, you know, it's on Adult Swim. So they can kind of explore more adult themes. Uh, one thing I like about it is that it's kind of delving into the whole idea of... Uh, you know, kind of existential crisis almost, like Samurai Jack is like, he's been in fucking Aku's time warp jutsu for such a long time, he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing anymore, he doesn't even know if it's worth it really, if, like what's he doing actually has a point, you know, it's kind of like if you ever read history about um, Hannibal and his attack on Rome, Hannibal was pretty much a Phoenician and uh, he swore uh, an oath to his father, who got nuked by Rome, just like so many other countries. What are you going to do? Rome was fucking kicking ass and taking names. And he swore that he would destroy Rome. And basically Hannibal uh, waged a conquest against Rome where, you know, he won multiple battles. He fucking cupped them up. He was really giving them else. And, uh, what the fuck? Why is Piccolo here? Who's coming? Okay, I'll leave it as is. Um... And basically, it it, it uh it um was Hannibal pretty much you know hand in hand in the mouse, but what ended up happening is that Hannibal was not able to conquer Rome. He was able to basically you know fuck him up, win battles, and basically cuck him up. But what Rome did is basically they retreated back into the city, and from there they were pretty much untouchable. Like Hannibal couldn't do anything, and what ended up happening is Scipio Africanus. Uh, basically attacked Phoenicia directly, and Hannibal basically had to recall and go back, and Phoenicia pretty much got rocked by Rome. You know, Rome, you know, fucking Rome, they fuck you up. But, um, it, it's one of those things where Hannibal, you know, he won so many battles, he did so much work, his whole life came to this moment, and just because of the fact that he didn't take Rome, he technically was a failure. You know what I mean? It's kind of like one of those things where it's, it kind of makes you think, like, what the fuck, like, what, like, what's the point, you know what I mean, it's kind of like what one of my professors said, uh, 
in the past is uh, in the real world, there is no such thing as partial credit. You either do something right or you don't. And I was like, I'm like, that's low key true for some things, but I don't know. That's fucking depressing. Holy shit. My nigga hit him with a crit. Beautiful, bro. Um, but I was like, yeah, that is kind of true, but at the same time, it's kind of depressing, you know what I mean? Like, like the idea of that you did so much work, but just because of the fact that you didn't do like the one small little tidbit, you're technically a failure, you know what I mean? Like if, you, if I told you to change uh, change four of my tires, you could only change three, and then like the fourth one gave you trouble and you couldn't do it, it's like you're a fucking failure, you know what I mean? It's kinda, That's the thing though, sometimes you gotta, you gotta like play mind games with yourself, because I remember there was a video I saw a long time ago where it was like, it was like, if you lie, are you a liar? And I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, yeah, I guess so. And then he's like, well, if you were to tell one truth, does that mean you're a truth sayer? And I'm like, oh, watch out, this guy. He's a nice... I was a teenager at the time, and it blew my mind. I was like, ooh, wait a second. Ooh, philosophy. <laughs> philosophy. But, um, yeah, Samurai Jack has more uh, kind of um, adult themes, things to express, which is cool. It's definitely cool, dude. Uh, I definitely think it makes it more interesting and easier to relate to. I kind of had... I kind of had a similar moment uh, today, actually, uh, because you know me, if you watch my videos, all two of you, that uh, I'm a nice project guy, I'm always doing some fucking project some way, somehow, uh, I'm cucking it up, and uh, one of my projects, I actually is working on an application, and I pretty much did all the work, uh, I literally, I did the front end, I did the back end, I did the maintenance, I did the updates, I did the fixes, I did the tests, I did everything for the app. Even though there was allegedly three developers, there was the only one who did anything. Uh, to be fair, one guy, he gave me some PHP files, which was eh, kind of sort of good, but he didn't really give it an honest try. And one guy literally didn't code anything. He didn't put Hello World. He didn't put a goddamn fucking thing. And he was able to just ride my coattails to success. And uh, that's kind of like what, what, what put me in the wrong today because uh, for the event that we were at, it was a final event. And, uh, pretty much, ooh, there's gonna be a lot of damage to this nigga, um, pretty much we, uh, went there, we presented, and we did the final event, and you know what's funny? This shows you how much of a fucking mongoloid my group is. We actually, uh, we're told by our project manager, who his job is pretty much literally to manage the project, just tell us what to do. He told us to show up at 3, it was from 3 to 6, and then come to find out, <laughs> funny enough, it wasn't 3 to 6, it was actually 12 to 6, and we ended up going there like an hour and a half late. I ended up getting there at like 2, and I was like, uh, whatever, bro. These guys take L's, these guys take L's. What the fuck are you going to do? What the fuck are you going to do, bro? But uh, today, they basically, they were like at the end of the ceremony, they were basically giving out letters of recommendation. Like, if you did a really good job, if they, they recognize basically you're a fucking cuck king, they're like, you know what, I'll fucking give you uh, a letter of recommendation. So I ended up actually getting one. And it was kind of like, yeah, you know, I did a lot of work, I deserve it, blah, blah, blah. They're telling me, you know, you did a great job, you're super good, fucking meeting me. And then I kind of had a moment of like, kind of like a moment of like, it, was it really worth it? You know what I mean? Like, was all this work really fucking worth it? I mean, obviously, I, I kind of had my goal achieved. It's not like Samurai Jack, at least in that episode, or Hannibal of Rome, where... You know, the final goal wasn't really achieved. It, it was achieved for what it was, the scope and what they needed, but it kind of, I don't know, it felt kind of underwhelming. Like, a letter of recommendation, I guess, is okay. I guess it's cool. I mean, not everyone got it. I guess it's special in that sense, but I, I, I really was questioning myself, saying, like, was this really worth it? Was it worth the fucking maybe, oof, I don't know how many hours of fucking blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> blood, sweat, and tears. I'm making it sound like I fucking died, but was it really worth it all this time and all this fucking pain in the ass? Was it worth not being a young hacker, figuring out the fucking, the genjutsu, that is the fucking dupe, gift, whatever the fuck box? Because I was too busy doing this fucking stupid project, you know what I mean? Like, that's one thing too, like, when you get a little more experience with computer science, your personal projects, you really want to do them, you don't really, really want to do schoolwork. And, uh, I was pretty much, like, just in the fucking realm. I was like, ugh, was this worth it? And what and what made it worse to kind of top it all off is, you know, the idea of, you know, did all this fucking work, did all this extra work. And when I say I went the extra mile, I really did go the extra mile just because of the fact that, um, this semester I was paired up with, uh, kind of a mongy uh, sponsor. 
because they're in the realm. Like we, we're using uh, Amazon Web Services to hope or, uh, to host our database. And what ended up happening is that their credit card info didn't go through. some funky happened. And they're like, ooh, I don't know what to do. And I could have just sat back, relaxed, and said, hey, fix it. Whenever you fix it, I'll do the work then. But I was like, no, I'm a cock. I'm a nice guy. I fucking made my own free AWS account. And I used that for the database. I'm like, fuck it. Here you go. Hosted the PHP on a different website just for the hell of it. And uh, I really did go above and beyond, even when it came to, you know, project roles like i remember i emailed the project project manager it's like hey boss did you know this was due hey boss did you know you had to do this did you know you had to do that and it's like i was doing so much shit and i was like honestly i feel like i did too much shit like i feel like i did too good of a job i feel like i honestly feel like i gave too much of myself away and i didn't get enough back it's one of those things like where you put in so much fucking work and what you got back was kind of underwhelming i mean that's a I mean, I know that sounds very haughty. I know that sounds very fucking mongy, but I don't know. I, I'm not the type of guy that, you know, gets super mad just because of the fact that, you know, they don't come out and fucking blow you for doing a good job, but I don't know. It's just it, it's just like the thing that puts me in the realm is the fact that I guess I'll do this event with Mono AGL. Why not, right? I'm a talkative type of guy. I want to keep going. Um, let's go on to... Boo. Um, but the one thing that put me in the realm is, like, I did all this hard work. I, I was fucking just whipping it. And, like, the two other uh, computer science dudes in my group literally did nothing. I mean, I understand, like, the first two, three weeks it was kind of hard to do because our sponsor didn't say anything. There's no information given. We pretty much had to figure out what the fuck to do on our own. But they didn't do that. I actually did that. I wrote them both an email. I, I put the info out. I was like, hey, here's the info. Check it out. Blah, blah, blah. When you get a chance, contribute whatever you can contribute. Then later on, I became more specific. Said, "Hey, the UI needs some help. Can you do that? CSS, maybe update that." And then when that didn't work, I just became I kind of made demands, and it didn't work out because they didn't care. The only thing I got, I think I mentioned, is I was talking to one guy. I got some PHP files for SQL injections, and it wasn't even anything too crazy because uh, he didn't even bother to uh, what do you call it? Uh, do any logic it was literally just um sh just shoving shit into a fucking sql database so it wasn't like he was checking to see if an email exists if not you know kind of logic things you know passwords correct this then third nothing anything too crazy i mean i did it myself this week but it'd be nice if you had your team members actually help you and, and the thing that made it worse is i'm actually i did two senior projects this semester i did a uh, one for this class and i also did one for another class so my plate was more than full, and I'm also taking a networking class that's been draining my fucking energy with C. And I'm also taking a, a math class, which is fucking always going to drain your fucking energy, because that's what math is there for. So, whew, it would have been nice if they contributed. And, that, you know, basically the idea that popped into my head is, you know, the whole, fuck, I'm retarded. I think I'm playing as Mono AGO. Fuck it, he's dead anyway. It doesn't matter. Um, uh, the Jutsu thing that popped in my head is like, I did all this work, I fucking sweated my bowels off, and these niggas got a free ride, they just got to, you know, basically say, hey, yeah, I did the project, of course, I'm a nice guy, this, that, and third, and in reality, they didn't really do much, let's be honest, they didn't really do much at all, um, but, I don't know, I, I, at the same time, I don't want to, like, fucking call him out and be like, hey, this guy didn't do any work, he's a fucking asshole, blah, blah, blah. but, you know, at the same time, you want to have some type of semblance of justice, especially the one guy, like, one guy... I feel like he just didn't know what to do. He didn't know what to contribute. Uh, I guess you get like that at some point in your life where you're like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Uh, but the other guy, I think he was kind of like a scumbag in the sense that he was he always used to like kind of lie and be like, yeah, I'll, um, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll update that, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do that. And then he never did. He never did it. And it's like, listen, bro, yeah, you know, either you're going to do it or you're not. And in the middle of the semester, he actually went to Aizanami. He's like, guys, I'm so sorry. I haven't been doing the work. I know I haven't been doing the work, but I promise I'm going to start. He never did. Even, you know, it's funny for the final presentation today. One of my slides, I was like, yeah, I think I'm going to I'm gonna add some pictures, add some uh, pretty much like an ER diagram, basically just showing info. And he's like, dude, I'll do that for you. I can do that for you. And in my mind, literally in my mind, I was like, you're not going to do that. But I, I said, okay, whatever. I, I gave him the benefit of that. I'm like, all right, cool, do that. And I, but I'm like, in the back of my head, it's like, you're not going to do that. You don't do anything. You're not going to do that. 
And funny enough, I went home that night. I was out with my friends. I didn't even go home. I was actually out with my friends while I was at a restaurant. I checked the presentation. I'm like, let me see if he did it. If he didn't, I guess I'll add something. And lo and behold, he never signed into the Google Slides doc on Google Drive. He never updated anything. He didn't do shit. And I was like, I was kind of, I was kind of happy. It's one of those things where it's like he did exactly what I thought I was gonna do, but at the same time, I was kind of like, come on, dude, like what the fuck? Like you're in this group, you're in this class, you're a fucking senior. You can't contribute even on a basic level, like something. And I didn't know it's funny too. For his slides, he was basically because he didn't do anything, and you have to present something. I basically put in a video of an of me doing like uh, a basic test on the app, and I put that for him. I'm like, here, you could talk about that, and then he put one slide, and it's like, you know, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm enabling. Maybe I'm letting him get to the next level, and I shouldn't. And I should be, you know, fucking be like, hey, wait a second, you're you're you didn't do your work. You gotta fucking blah 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 blah. blah. But, I don't know, I'm not that type of guy that, uh, I don't want to fucking drain people's energy and be like, hey, that guy didn't do his work, become a tattletale snitch fuckboy, you know what I mean? But, uh, it's a little bit frustrating when you do all that fucking work and it's whatever. I mean, hopefully I get an A for this semester. What's funny is that not only did I do all that work, I actually went to, uh, and did extra credit shit. I came, like, to certain events, got extra credit. I did some shit about jQuery, I'm like, fuck it, I'll show up, got extra credit, so... Hopefully that extra credit gets me to an A++++, so that's about it, but uh, yeah, how did this start? I was talking about how Samurai Jack doesn't know what the fuck <laughs> what the fuck he's doing in life, and I felt similar in the same way. Oh my god, this guy's supering me, what a cock. Alright, so now I know this fucking drainer actually supers me. I can basically just use a ghost usher, but uh, yeah, I don't mean to sound like a whiny faggot or anything, but yeah, sometimes I guess it helps to talk about certain things. Even when I was talking to my friends, basically telling them throughout the semester, you know, what's been going on. Basically, I've been just carrying this fucking team hard as fuck and being a cuck. And they're like, yeah, you're a cuck, you're a piece of shit. Because even in high school, I was always a, a nerdy fuck boy who did the homework. And then if people needed help, I'd explain it. Or if people needed, like, some info, I'd give it to them. And they're like, hey, bro, that's your problem, bro. You're too smart. You're too nice. And I'm like, fuck. Fuck me. But, uh... I guess it is what it is, man. I, I guess I shouldn't be so negative and fucking down and out. I mean, I did the work. I learned a lot. I mean, shit, I did more than I should have. Uh, I was supposed to be just a front end developer, and I, I've used SQL before. I've used it loosely here and there, but I used the heavy for this, so that's good. I pretty much got to brush up on SQL. Um, I also was able to basically brush up on PHP and SQL injection. Uh, Pretty much using uh, Amazon Web Services, which is free, by the way. I recommend you try it out if you have any shit that you... If you want to just throw up a database, it's free, my nigga. Why not? Just throw it up there. Who gives a fuck? And uh, try that out, which is pretty cool. So I learned some shit. Uh, I got a recommendation letter out of it, which is cool, I guess. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, was it fucking worth it? That's like... Um, that's like... Uh, Fuck. I'm trying to think of an analogy, but I can't really think of an analogy. Uh, ooh, ceiling. This guy's high. He's going to super. Let me do that. Let me do this. And then let me do... Let me heal. Just use a sensor just in case. This guy's been draining me. Let's do that. And then do that. I was going to say, it kind of reminds me of the man, like that kind of like old adage or uh, story of the man who like killed his family so he could uh, cry and have like a bunch of pearls where basically he realized that the more he cried the more like basically he wished that every time he cried he would have pearls and basically the more pearls he had the more he could sell and basically he killed his wife or he killed his family to basically cry a lot and get a lot of money and then once he has the money he realized it wasn't really worth it everything he went through and that type of thing and uh, you know what I mean? it's, it's that kind of thing where he puts you in the fucking realm but then again, what's funny with that story that always put me in the realm is uh, people, I think, like, kind of a counterexample or a counterthought is, why didn't he just smell onions and then have the tears turn into pearls, which is pretty much put, puts a, a damper of the whole idea of killing your family. It's like, oh, Jesus, probably should have thought about this more before killing the kids. So let me do that, let me do that, and then I'll do that, and this is probably it. 
Because your boy, Super Vegito, told you he's got another dupe. This nigga's high key gonna crit. Crit him right now. Boop. Okay, no crit. Alright, fuck me. But, uh, yeah, I don't mean to sound like a negative. I don't mean to sound like a negative Nancy or a Debbie Downer, but, you know, it's been on my mind. Pretty much, I've been out since 12 o'clock. It's probably like, what, 3 something right now? And it's. Ooh, that's a nice crit. Goddamn. And I'm pretty much in the fucking realm right now, so. Tired guy. I've been working hard. I guess uh, I guess I have something to show for. I got a nice recommendation letter. Uh, what else? Uh, I've been using. Honestly, you know what gave me energy, and this is no bullshit. Is uh, when I was working on the back end, I was doing a lot of select from where with SQL. If you use SQL, you basically you select everything in a table, and you can put where where like email equals acid or forty two at gmail or where name equals mongi, uh, and that that's a good jutsu, that's a really good jutsu, I really like fucking SQL commands, I actually showed a friend when I was out at dinner, I showed him SQL and I had him do a couple commands, and he was like, wow, that's kind of fun, I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of fun, and I'm like, I know it is, it's really fucking autistic, but it's low-key good, but, uh, yeah, that's about it, I guess the moral of this video is, um, Mono AGL is pretty lit, Samurai Jack is pretty good, and it's more adult-oriented, uh, Hard work is low-key not worth it. You should just be a fuckboy. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna go take a shit. And then afterwards, I'm probably gonna go jerk off and look at tits.